what's up guys welcome back to my channel I am Jess and you're watching keto rewind today's video is going to be on one of my absolute favorite recipes and I'm gonna show you how to make it we've been making these my mom this is from my mom's made our whole life <laughs> um, especially growing up we were always requesting these wolf burgers is what we call them but the good news is they are keto friendly so I thought I'd teach everybody else how to make them. Now I am going to make third pound patties with, with uh, ground beef and I'm using a 73-27 mix because I want the fat. Um, so obviously these are going to cook down um, quite a bit but I'm going to do two third ounce patties and I'm going to stuff them. Okay, I'm going to season the burgers, and I'm basically going to take a teaspoon of salt. I'm sorry, half teaspoon. <laughs> I forget, I didn't realize it was my bigger one. <laughs> and then I'm going to put about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and I'm just going to sprinkle on some onion powder, and some garlic powder. You don't have to season them with all this. You can just do salt and pepper, but I like a little bit of flavor in my food, so. Um, another sprinkle of smoked paprika, and finally a little chili powder. Not too much, because my kids are gonna eat these and they don't like anything spicy. <laughs> but just enough. All right, and then I'm gonna mix this all up. And I don't know if you're like me, but I just hate touching <laughs> hamburger meat. So yucky. But once that's all mixed up, we will roll them in little balls and I'm measure 30 pound patties. You can make your patties bigger, you can make them smaller, but being that this has a high fat content, it's gonna cook down quite a bit because it's 7327. And then once that's good and mixed. Okay, I'm gonna take my kitchen scale and I am going to basically just make, let's do four ounce burgers. So I have mixed up six four ounce burger patties and I'm gonna use this old <laughs> bowl as my burger press because I'm too cheap to buy one. But easily just take, this helps get it out of there, so I put a little cellophane down in here. We put your burger patty, smush it down. You want it a little taller on the sides because we're obviously going to stuff these. Um, so you're going to want to put a little skinnier in the middle and work it up the sides. And then when we put the top on, we're just going to form the patty. So. Make it nice and even because you want these to cook evenly. You don't want big lumps. So, and plus you want a good seal so that the cheese and everything doesn't leak out. <laughs> so, once you've done that, it should look like this. And then we're going to take two slices of boar's head sandwich size pepperoni. You could do the smaller ones, but I put the one on the bottom and then I put a hand, a small little handful of red onion or stick that on top and you want your red onion nice and diced finely because obviously these aren't going to take forever on the grill to cook so you don't want to have crunchy, too crunchy of an onion and then I'm going to take boars, boars and cheese is great to stuff these with um, and that's because it it just holds together nicer. You can easily use a different cheese, um, but I like the boars, boars in garlic and fine herb. Put that down. And I'm just gonna take a little hunk of it, about that much, and just stick it all in the middle. And it's so good with the flavor of these burger patties. And then I cover it up with another slice of burger. I'm sorry, pepperoni. And then I forgot to grit, grab uh, to put tomatoes at the store, but you could throw tomatoes, uh, a, a real thin slice of tomato in as well. So then I'm going to take the top of the burger patty, smash it back down on there, and then get it nice and formed, push hard, <laughs> I'm 
I messed my scale up. Push hard so that the sides evenly connect. And then it's real easy because you just pull it out because we put the uh, cellophane down. It'll come out nice and easy. And then just, you know, gently pull it out. And then I like to just to smooth around the sides so that looks pretty. But if you had a hamburger press, <laughs> it'd probably be a lot prettier. But you want to just make sure that all the sides are, it's all connected. And there you have your Wolf Burger patty. <laughs> it's stuffed with all that goodness. So I'm going to start the next one and repeat the process. So I've got another piece of cellophane. Match it down in there. And see how easy it was? You don't need any fancy press. Because <laughs> I've purchased those hamburger press in the past. And not only do you have to clean them when you're done. But, ooh, it's stuck to my hands. <laughs> but they, you still have to use like something like that to get them out. So they don't come out super clean. Maybe you know of one. If you do, link it in the comments and I'll check it out. But I've been doing it like this forever. Because I've, I've always been cheap. So like I said, work it up the sides. Make sure the bottom is nice and smooth. And I can't stress enough how tasty these are. Kind of off camera here, sorry. So burger patty number two, repeat the process. And plus, if you have people that like don't like certain toppings, it's easy to make these custom and change up the cheeses, change up the onions, leave out the onions, add more onions. You know, so I put the pepperoni, the purple onion, and a nice big hunk of boars and cheese. Smash it in there. And the nice thing about the boars and cheese, it doesn't, like, it melts, it'll get melty, but it's not gonna ooze out as much as some of the cheeses do. But, all right, so I'll show you before I put the top of the pepperoni on what it looks like. Okay, good. And then I'll put the last piece of pepperoni, put the other top back on, smush it in there, work it in good. And I'm telling you right now, when you have like a cookout or something and you bring these, People are gonna go crazy over them. <laughs> no joke. Um, and you can also make these smaller. These are gonna be an eight ounce patty that are plus it's stuffed. But if you wanna make them like sliders, just make the smaller burger. But this is gonna go on a nice bed of lettuce and that's what we're having. And we, haven't, we don't make them all the time, but when we do have them, we enjoy it. <laughs> and there you have another burger patty. Throw the cellophane away. Make it pretty on the sides. It's like the perfect size. <laughs> Bird patty number two. And then last but not least, I have a third one. My husband and I will have one each ourselves, but then our kids will split and probably eat off of theirs for like two days. Because obviously they're a lot smaller than us. Stuff it in here once again and I make a bunch of these up ahead of time because it's so easy to freeze them and then during like on a Friday or something where you just don't want to cook a big old dinner um, I'll pull them out of the freezer and pop them on the grill so And that goes with regular hamburgers too. They don't always have to be stuffed, but these Wolf Burgers my mom has made as long as I can remember, and they're so stinking good. And plus you can customize all the fillings. So once again, we have pepperoni. If you want to do bacon instead of pepperoni, go right ahead, it's yummy too. Um, another hunk of pores and cheese. I'm telling you right now, when you bite into this, you're gonna be like, thanks, Jess. <laughs> and then the last piece of pepperoni, that kind of helps give it a seal when you do that bigger pepperoni. 
helps it keep all that yummy cheese in. But I forgot to mention, I do this for my kids as well. I just put cheese in theirs though. So I stuff their burgers as well, but they don't want all the onion, they don't want all the other fancy stuff. They just want salt and pepper on their burger. <laughs> and then put the top on. So this, they're gonna split one of these each day. So yeah, you, it may look like a ton of meat, but <laughs> they, it's easier for them just to split a burger. And we make only two patties versus having to make four patties and everybody has their own because when they're, when they have a high fat content like this, it's, they, you know, you don't want them to burn up. And heaven forbid if you burn, <laughs> the kids certainly won't eat it. So this one is the kid one. You can see, plus they like the little surprise that's in the center. <laughs> Oh, and it'll be, we're gonna preheat the grill at 400 degrees, between 350 and 400, and we're gonna smoke them low and slow. So it could, being that they're thicker, they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook than uh, a normal burger. So when your center is done to the temperature that you like your burgers cooked at, pull them off the grill. So I'll be back when it's time to grill them.